if we knew how big a guy's penis was right away. Um, now, there's always a weird reaction when I ask that question. People, people are like, what are, you, what are you? Look, I'm not saying I want to know my friend's dick sizes. I very much do not. But I think about the world's problems, and I think the world would be a much better place if, like, women with breasts, like, you could tell, you know, how, we all know how big women's breasts are. Right now, I'm not looking at any of you. I could see them all. It's me. I'm looking at overheads, and I could still be, like, pretty good, pretty good, yeah, pretty good, pretty good. Like, you know what I mean? Like, I could see. And that's, like, an unfair advantage we have. Like, it starts at the grade school level. That's where, like, the inequality begins. Pe right? Because people are mean to that girl that's flat-chested. And that's unfortunate. She's not developed yet. Not her fault. And it doesn't matter anyway. People are mean. And even though it is really mean, you do got to give it up for the guy who came up with the phrase Itty Bitty Titty Committee. Because that... That is a hell of a rhyme scheme right there. You know? That was good. I hope that guy became a rapper. Because that, that was some good rhyming. I mean, how, how many high fives did that kid get that day? Oh, yeah, Janet? Well, you're part of the Itty Bitty Titty Committee. You guys hear that shit? Yo, teacher, I'm taking a half day. I'm not sticking around after a line like that. I'm going home right now. No, I think the world would be a better place if we knew right away. I do. Because I think if everyone knew you had a little dick, you would have to be a much nicer person. You'd have to be way nicer. You couldn't be some guy that's like, openly like angry all the time you couldn't be that guy at the back of like a grocery store line just being like why isn't this line moving because everybody at the front would be like relax peewee nobody wants to be here it's always the little ones it's chirp 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 right it's like calm down and then though also we'd be a lot nicer to those people you walk out of a store, you see some little dick dude coming your way, you hold the door open for them. You go, hey man, it gets better. It gets better. It won't get bigger, it gets better. Just chill. You know? Don't buy a gun, relax. You know? No, I think about this, and that's why I believe that women are going to make great presidents one day, and hopefully that day is soon. Because I think, there's always a few people, I think a woman is going to make a great president because a woman can handle a surprise. <laughs> Let that sit in just for a second. Because how many of you ladies have had like a one night stand, you take a guy back to your place, you take his pants off and you're like, fuck. <laughs> Damn, really dude? This, oh, God, shit. Mm. So that's, that's what we're working with tonight, huh? All right. And you never heard of a woman being horrible about it. I've never heard a story of a woman taking down a guy's pants going, nope, let's pull these right back up. Nope. Mm -mm. I told myself never again. Sorry. There's a cookie. Have that on the way out. Good game sport. Not happening tonight. Uh-uh. You're over six feet tall. expecting better. This is, this is sad. Real quick, real quick. I want to point out the guys who aren't laughing, you're suspect. I'm going to throw that out there right now. I'm throwing that out there right now. Ladies, look around. The ones who are like, mm-mm. Yeah, yeah. No, I've, t I've actually, I've had conversations with my female friends. I've asked them. I go, what do you do? What do you do when it's a crime scene down there, huh? What do you do when it's a disaster? Because guys, I've talked to them. It's not just about length and girth. Some of us have some weird shaped dicks, apparently. I talked to one of my female friends, she's like, oh, this one guy's dick was shaped like the letter S. It was weird. I'm like, shaped like the letter, what is that? Did he pee into his balls? How does that work out? Like, that seems like a weird, cur what? Like, but I've talked to them. I asked them, I go, what do you do? What do you do in that situation? Every one of my female friends has said the same thing. They go, eh, still had sex with him anyway. Still had sex with him anyway. And I'm like, you know what? That's the kind of leadership we could use in Washington. That is a go-getter with an exit strategy. Nice.